As a trusted employee, a malicious insider may pose a greater threat than outside actors because an insider can take advantage of their organizational role in three primary and dangerous ways. First, physical or virtual access to buildings or information provides an inconspicuous opportunity to be in contact with sensitive material or information. An insider essentially has free reign within an organization or entity. This access means that they can enter buildings or handle files unescorted, allowing for greater freedom of action. Leonid Smirnov, as we saw in the beginning of this module, decided to take advantage of his physical access as the foreman of a chemical research institute when he began stealing small amounts of HEU from the facility. The second method an insider can use is their authority. The authority of their position as an insider grants the power to enforce compliance or avoid detection. This includes temporary authority, falsified authority, exemption from procedures, authority over others, and authority over tasks and equipment. This power allows an insider to assess and tamper with alarms or indicators of foul play, making it easier to cover up their actions. Finally, intimate knowledge of a facility and its protocol, along with technical proficiency of the organization's work, allows an insider to bypass detection mechanisms or procedures that are designed to guard against an outside threat. They have intimate knowledge of the interworkings and operations within an entity and, knowing their locations, characteristics, and other crucial information to conducting a successful attack, can easily select the most vulnerable targets. This also includes an understanding of the security systems set in place and the established security force capabilities. This gives the insider the ability to offensively counter the organization's defenses and provides a huge advantage over the outside threat.